But I think that maybe, I don't know if somebody wrote that video for you or mm. you did it. I think when you guys were all in a room thinking about what, what you were doing, you guys probably saw it as it's going to be funny, it's going to be fun, we're going to have a good time about it. But it seems almost, and correct me if I'm wrong, like you had no real representation of any Mexican-American in that room telling you, hey, Tiger, I don't, I don't think this is it. To me, am I wrong to think that it was just maybe you and maybe some white or other African-American uh, artists in the room when you guys were making that video? Um, I think what it was is, and like, I wanted to go back to like why, like, I really wanted to sit with you because, I mean, I just got back from like Europe. So when I dropped the video, I wasn't in LA, I was in Europe. Right. And then, um, I started seeing like a lot of people, you know, offended by it. And I was kind of confused. So that's why I didn't respond. I took time to like, didn't comment on anything, right. didn't like any posts. And I kind of like try to do my research a little bit. I try to ask a lot of my friends that I grew up with that were Mexican. Sour Milk is like my DJ. He he's Mexican. Right. Uh, my engineer that recorded the song with me. He's Mexican. Like so, I kind of I was really kind of confused at first. Like, like you know, why are people offended? Because I've I've always done Latin. I've always done Latin records, and right. like you know, when I've done something that was like a Mexican record, like Go Loco. Like I wrote that song, and I was like, this reminds me. This song is literally for like the Mexicans I grew up with. You know what I'm saying? Being from LA, that I went to high school with. This is like. This is, I want to pay homage.